When it comes to effective chemical soil treatments, any areas we can trench instead of drilling and injecting is always a better application. These areas can be a grass or a lawn, it could be a garden, or it could involve lifting pavers if they're not concreted in. Given the treatment is only a few hundred mil off the building, this usually isn't too invasive. I mean, no bobcat is required, but it may mean disturbing some of the lawn or removing a few plants that are too close to the building. Of course, this would always be discussed prior to doing so, and there are alternatives like bait stations if this is a concern for you. As I mentioned previously, it's essential to get right down to the footing. Now whilst on occasion with deep footings, say deeper than 300 mil, this might require rod injecting to get there. However, most of the time you really need to be digging the soil right out of the trench and exposing the top of the footing. Of course, technically we need to go 50 mil past the top of the footing, but I didn't want to get too technical and have you fall asleep on me. Anyway, once the footing is exposed, it's also really important to dig under any plumbing or electrical services that sit on or through the footing that might be in the way and remove all mortar and debris from on top of the footing. This is because termites love to find these areas and track straight underneath them, which is why we always dig right under these to apply the chemical appropriately. Imagine doing all that digging and falling short with the treatment by simply not doing that little bit extra. Once the chemical is applied to the footing area and underneath those services, you then of course start to backfill the soil and mix the chemical right through to create a continuous treated zone. A major point of difference here at Suburban is we will replace the soil dug out with our own soil mix as standard. Now full replacement may not always be required, but adding some newly brought in soil probably should be standard practice. However, it's actually extremely rare in our industry. Most of our competitors do not bother with this step. But for me, it's essential. You see, the chemical only binds to organic matter, so any rocks, clay, tree roots, or any building rubble left over, like bricks and mortar, must be removed from the treated zone. Otherwise, it will essentially leave gaps right through the treated zone. And well, this means it can't be considered continuous anymore. And this is the point where I remind you that the piece of paper that says warranty doesn't mean anything if termites go through these gaps, because the product did not fail, the installation did. So you have to do the treatment thoroughly, and by the time you remove all of that rock, tree roots, and the mortar on the footing, if you're not adding your own soil, how could the trench fill back up? It couldn't, unless of course, you did put all that stuff you weren't supposed to back in the trench. Of course, getting the ground height back to normal is crucial, and leaving the site neat and tidy is an important part of any service for anybody visiting your home. I mean, there's nothing worse than cleaning up after tradies. So at Suburban, our goal is to always leave your place as neat and tidy as we found it.